Good morning, ma'am, and welcome to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries. Ma'am, can you please introduce yourself and tell us where you're from? I'm Zintlin Dovani. I'm from Centurion. Ma'am, you may continue with your wonderful testimony. So I started coming to Shekinah in 2016. Sorry, I'm going to compose myself. Because it's at this altar where I received all my blessings. Um, okay. So in 2016, we had a service for women to, who wanted to get married. I came. There were three. Uh, it's, it was prophet. And they prayed for me. I got married. Ma'am, can you please tell us when you came to the ministries, what were the issues that you were suffering from? Oh, it was a bit, lot. Um, academic excellence. Um, I had fibroids, I had cysts, I had irregular bleeding. And when you have irregular ble bleeding, they put you on contraceptives. But even when I was on contraceptives, uh, my hormones, sorry, the same time, my hormones would always just do it. <laughs> they just, I will just bleed. I could bleed for three weeks and stop for one week and bleed again. So it seemed like there was no solution because even though I was going to the doctor, I was still not getting better. And ma'am, can you please tell us how did this affect you on a daily basis? It affects me on a daily basis. You can't be bleeding every day. Um, you end up feeling tired, you become anemic. Um, it was not easy. Um, sometimes I remember when I was growing up, even in the busy mall, when I would start bleeding, I would sleep, sit and say, I can't move because I'm in so much pain. And I would sit at busy malls where everyone is just crossing and jumping over me and they would have to buy me medication. And ma'am, when you came to the church, can you please tell us what is it that you had felt during the prayer? What is it that was going through your mind? So when I came to the church, it was love. It was this one thing prophet preaches and the people in this church preach. It's love. I felt love. I felt comfort. Um, when we came here, I was with my mom. We were visiting and we stayed. <laughs> um, first time they prayed for me, I manifested. I don't remember much, but it's been years. Um, second time with the fruit of the womb, prophet had came back with morning water. And when he administered the morning water, I think it was, there was the evangelist that were going around the church and administering the morning water. I started my flow. But this time my flow was so different. It was the clots. I was coming out clots. It was fibroids. But because you go to a church where there's multiple testimonies, you don't think of recording. <laughs> it didn't cross my mind that I should record, but it's many years ago. Second time, it was... I can't remember what service, whether it was salt service, or was it water service, or was it oil service, but it was one of those special services. They anointed me, cyst came out. I went to the toilet, my water, I, my underwear had water, it was a brown discharge. I knew that I'd be able to conceive. I conceived my two kids. Hallelujah, let us clap for Master Jesus. Let us continue caring for Master Jesus for this wonderful healing. And I'm, since that day, you've experienced a normal period flow. Yes, I, I have. And for, since that day, you have also conceived two children. Two. Let us care for Master Jesus, people of God. <laughs> Ma'am, you can continue on to your second testimony. Okay. So... With the academic, okay, let me carry on with the marriage. I come from a family where when they get married, our marriages don't last. Even if they last, some people, they end up doing whatever they want to do, but I didn't. I came multiple times to the altar and I asked the man of God and he prayed for me here for so many times over my marriage. In my family, it's very rare from my great-grandmother. Then Let me explain from my great-grandmother so you can understand how long this generational curse has been. The firstborn and the secondborn have different fathers. It does not matter. You will not, if you don't get married to the first husband, who is your father's firstborn, your secondborns, it won't be the same. Everyone has different fathers. But I stand here to say my first and my second child are from the same man and they're from my marriage. Amen.
with my third one. Not sure if you can see. So every time there's a big season in my life, my mom always says, go and count a prophet. Go speak to prophet. <laughs> so I came and I spoke to prophet. He said, and I went to Mercy Land. Pastor Pio was there. I went to Mercy Land. I picked um, the message. It said, fast for three days and feed the homeless. I don't mind feeding the homeless, but the first thing was painful. <laughs> I fasted, but because in the months of Mba, we we're always fasting at church. The first time I fasted, I was just fasting for compliance. It wasn't inside, but I fasted. Not sure if you can see my result. For the first time, I failed an exam. Now, I failed because I was not being obedient. Not because the blessings were not there. I was not being obedient. I came to church. We have, it was the first t-shirts, the orange ones. Mine is orange. So you can see it from a mile with it. <laughs> because I knew, I did not feel because the blessings was not released. I felt because I was disobedient. This time, no one told me. When prophet said, when, uh, if you're a student, if you wear this t-shirt, you will not fail. I was wearing my post-grad in become accounting science. No one told me <laughs> because I knew that this is what I had to do. I wore my t-shirt for two days. Whether it was smelly <laughs> or not, I went to school with my t-shirt. I knew that I was not doing things right. In the morning, I would speak the word of God. I would connect with prophet. I remember there was even traffic on this other day and I was even late for my exam. And I called my mom panicking. She said, you must just pray. I'm not God, just pray. And I prayed and the traffic just flew. It just opened and I got to school and I wrote. But I still failed. <laughs> but even though I failed, my final mark was 49% for one subject because where I, in order to be a C, you need to specialize in four subjects. I still feel that one subject again. But because I was obedient this time, I failed by 41%, but they still pushed me by a 9% when I wrote my exam. I wrote my board one the same year. There's still the same subject that I failed, was still the same subject that was there in that exam. By God's grace, I passed. When I went to go write my board exam in 2019, I remember very well, I was wearing the same orange shirt, very loud, same two days. But now, even during breaks, I would connect with my headsets and I would listen to prophet pray. I was still anointing myself, using salt, doing everything that I need to do. But this time I was obedient so much to a point that even though that same finance where they pushed me by 9%, I still passed my board one. My board two exam, I wrote my board two exam a few years later. When I went to go write my board two exam, <laughs> it's by God's grace that, I, <laughs> that I'm actually a CA. I had barely competent first exam, barely competent second exam, because you need to be competent. I came to church, they were launching calendars. I bought three calendars, I didn't even buy for myself. Um, there was this mama outside, she asked me for a calendar, I gave it to her, I gave one to my mom, I gave one to my dad's sister. But because I was obedient, and when I went to go write my exam, my board to exam, I was wearing the orange shirt, as usual, but this time I also had the mantle. So what I did was I took the mantle and I put it in my t-shirt. So I looked pregnant to everyone, and it was at the same time where at church they were preaching about in order for you to give birth, you need to be pregnant. But I didn't understand why everyone was helping me out. People were carrying my things. And that's because I think I even had oil. I don't remember, but I had the mantle and I had anointed it with oil. I had anointed it with salt. And I think small particles are from the prayer mountain. So I'd really equip myself. And I passed my board to exam. Hallelujah. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Ma'am, can you please show us the mediums that you had been using during that time you were writing your exams? I use this every day of my life. I use this every day. 
say? I used the salt. <laughs> Ma'am, used... can you please tell us how is it that you use these mediums? Prophet only says you must anoint yourself in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And I also sometimes anoint my water. Um, sometimes I bath with the rapha salt. Sometimes I also put it inside the wa my water and I drink it. Oh yeah, this was nice. <laughs> I've also used the water. I used to anoint myself. I drink the water every day as well. And the mantle. Ma'am, after using these mediums, what happened after the exams that you had written? So after, after the exams, I had a bad dream with my board too. I dreamed it was landing, some, uh, the wrong person was going to mark it. Um, but I didn't worry. I carried on connecting with LCP. Um, this other day, Prophet said, Zintla, I see you smiling. And I was like, okay, I knew what he meant. He said, I see you smiling. And I said, yes, sir. And that's the time I got my board to exam. And ma'am, you can confirm. <laughs> and ma'am, you can confirm today that you have passed both your board exams and today you are standing here as a chartered accountant. Yes. Let us care for Master Jesus, people of God. Ma'am, what is your word of advice to people who have experienced the same thing that you had gone through? Before I get to the advice, everything here was on time. There was nowhere where I failed. The system had said I failed, but God favored me and pushed me. I just chose to register in 2024, but everything here is on time because God is faithful. Um, my word of advice is Alta. Prophet once asked me, why don't I type? As soon as I started working. And he asked me, why don't you type? And I started tithing. I tithe. If you meant. I tithe because I understood that there needs to be food in my father's house. And even though I do a lot of things, God's grace has always been upon me because I tithe. I make sure that in my father's house, there is food. So when prophet says fast, don't fast the fast of obedience <laughs> because it doesn't work. It doesn't move God. It needs to come from inside. And it came from inside and God has been faithful and he answered me. Amen. <clears throat> Ma'am, we thank God for blessing you with these wonderful testimonies and we hope and remain that it shall remain permanent in your life. In Jesus' name, amen.